Hello everyone, welcome back to An Italian in My Kitchen. I am Erica and today I don't have a recipe video for you. I thought that I would film a sit down with me and update video. So this is going to be just that. I have a few things coming up um, that are very exciting and as you might have guessed by reading the title of this video, I have an announcement. I am moving. I'm moving to Ireland for a few months. This is a plan that I've had for quite a while and I've always wanted to go live on my own in Ireland. It's always been a plan for me. I've always wanted to try and live there and I thought, why not try now? I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and in the end there was never going to be a right right time and so I just decided to book my ticket book my Airbnbs and here we are I am leaving in five days so that's very exciting it's a solo travel move I'm going by myself and it's the first time that I actually go somewhere outside of Italy or Canada on my own. Like I will be living on my own for a while. I'm going to Galway and I'll be staying there for a few months and I am so excited. I wanted to talk to you about a few of the changes that I want to make to this channel. Um, obviously food will always be a main focus since you know An Italian in My Kitchen is a food blog but I also want to introduce more of a personal touch to the videos. So I'm thinking of adding more day-to-day -day videos, so vlogs, and show you around where I will be living. That's something exciting, something that I've never done, and I think since I'll be on my own for quite a bit, I don't know anybody there, it will be nice to talk to someone so talk to the camera talk to you guys and this way I won't feel alone <laughs> because I have my friends <laughs> this is not something that came up just recently. I've always wanted to go live in Ireland. I went to Ireland quite a few times and at first I thought Dublin would be the city that I would move to and it was on my list for a very long time. And then I went back last year and it was for a concert. I went with my friend and actually you can see those videos because I did vlog that trip on this channel. I will link them down below. You can go check them out. That last trip, it was a little bit different than the, the other ones because uh, as soon as we got to Ireland in, in, at the airport in Dublin, we went straight to Galway. So we stayed there about two to three days and we we did do a um, day tour to the Cliffs of Moher, which was really, really nice. Um, I highly suggest you do that when you go to Ireland. I just fell in love with Galway. I didn't expect to like it more than Dublin because I always, always loved Dublin and I thought that's where I would go and try and live for a while on my own. But in the end, uh, Galway just had this peaceful and calming vibe that I really, really enjoy. It's peaceful, but also so lively at the same time. You'll see so many people just singing or dancing in the streets and it's it's just so friendly and I really, really love that. And it's close to water. I love cities that are on water, close to water. It's beautiful. So, so yeah, that's where I will be staying this, this year in uh, just a few days. I just feel like it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do right now and I'm going to do it. I will take you guys with me because I've decided to make these changes to the channel. I want it to be a bit more personal and a, a bit more dynamic. Uh, I don't want to just make recipes anymore. I want it to be 
more fun fun for you fun for me um and it's gonna be an adventure i think it's, and it's an adventure we're gonna go on together because i am a little bit nervous but also very excited it's exciting it's challenging and i can't wait it's gonna be amazing i know the channel is called an italian in my kitchen but i'm italian and i'll just be in ireland instead of italy it's a little bit of a different path that I'm taking, but I hope you guys are here for it and that you love this. And I hope you will enjoy them as much as I will filming it and that, uh, that we're gonna be in this together. Now we can pack, we can pack my bag because it's almost time. And you might be seeing this video very close to when I'll be leaving. And then from there, well, you'll just have to keep watching. So yeah, let's go pack the bags. Packing has begun. And this is what we're working with. Yeah. I have all my leggings, all my workout tops jeans, tops, uh, pajamas, uh, sports bras. I don't know why the sports bras are down there, but they are. And then I'm bringing an umbrella. Oh, look, I found my old Galway mop. Camera gear, because I can't go anywhere without that. I have my carry-on here. And I thought that we could do an unboxing of my big check-in bag. Okay, so I have my box right here. Let's do the unboxing. It's a 29-inch check-in luggage bag by base let's see let's see if everything that i would like to take ideally will fit in here and in my carry-on because i still want some space so i can do some shopping when i'm there also canada is giving irish weather today maybe it's telling me hey here get used to it <laughs> it's raining that's what it is. It's raining. It's supposed to rain all day today. Okay, I can't do that. I need scissors. <laughs> you can see we've all got baggage. Glad it's base. Cute. Yeah. Hey. It's 29 inches, so hopefully it fits a lot of stuff. So it expands as well. Great, great actually. I might really need all the space I can get. So, so yeah. Hey, don't jump, eh? Heaviest things I'm going to wear on the plane. I'm gonna be comfortable. Probably gonna wear my combat boots because those are the heaviest ones of the shoes that I have and that I'm gonna take. And my heaviest sweater. And obviously I'm gonna take tiramisu. No, hey, 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 no. What's she doing? Zoomies, no, just cur curious cat, kitty cat. Oh my God, you're so cute, you're so cute. Look, look at my kitty cat, look at my little kitty cat hi baby oh hi how many cats can fit in this suitcase are you coming are you coming no you're not she's gonna stay home maybe next time lucky euro here and here see it's a owl it's from Greece it's been with me for a very long time so I usually just stick it in a pocket in my bag I have to add a few more things to the suitcase but I'm not gonna add it yet just because I have a few more days 
uh, here in Canada before we actually leave and I'm gonna need them I also have to pack all my makeup and toiletries which I'm gonna put in my carry-on you know I should be okay I should be okay I have a lot of space still yeah we're good let's hope okay almost done four more days and we're going to Ireland okay I'll keep packing and I'll show you what I'm doing up until the day that we leave because I usually pack up until the last minute because you know like toiletries that kind of stuff and I'm just gonna put my computer and other camera gear in also last minute because I have to recheck it all plus my passport and you know just the regular stuff that you need on the plane I'll see you when I pack some more stuff hi guys it's now Tuesday and I'm just about to finish packing my carry-on so I just wanted to show you a few things that I have in here that I think this might be a good tip for you for next time that you travel you probably do it but I'll just share what I think is a good tip. So this is what my carry-on bag looks like now. I just finished packing it. So I'm taking a straightener because priorities. Um, this uh, is all my makeup that I'm... It is in a clear bag, but usually going through the Toronto airport, uh, Pearson, they do give you or they do want you to put it into a clear plastic bag that they have specifically there. I'll have to switch them all into that bag, which I will do tomorrow uh, because I have one, but you usually just get them right there at the airport, so don't, don't stress. And then here I have all my amenities. I also packed one outfit and one uh, workout outfit and then one pair of pajamas just in case my check-in bag gets lost. If not, we're all good and scratch that. If you have a check-in bag, don't rely on that check-in check bag to get to the destination with you. Always pack whatever you will need, um, at least for a day or two. Just be sure that you have what you need in your carry-on bag. So we reached the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have filming it. And I know it's a bit different from the regular videos that I usually post, but I just thought that this would be a nice, uh, fun, addition. I will see you in Dublin for the next one and as always if you like this video give us a like, comment and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> what the heck was that?